Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. So thank you Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share ahead of the weekend's new releases. This kit along with the other new releases are gonna be coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 25th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern time, that's the general release. And if you happen to be part of the Ruby or Diamond tier, the rewards program, you'll get a half an hour early access window. So be sure to set your alarms. The kit I have to share with you guys today is is this amazing Zodiac Cancer by Chrysabug. You guys, we're getting a new Zodiac series from one of my very, very, very favorite artists. Now, I am not personally a Cancer. I am a Scorpio. However, I adore Chrysabug's artwork, and I thought that this was absolutely beautiful and thought it would be so fun to get to introduce this new series to you guys. Now, if you want, you can actually pop over to Chrysabug's Instagram page and take a look at, maybe get a little look ahead at some of the other Zodiac pieces she's done so far. I'm not sure if she's done all of them, but I think she's done several and they're gorgeous. <laughs> so this kit is gonna have round shaped diamonds, 20 by 30 inches or 50.7 by 76 centimeters. And they've got some branding up here that's consistent with what they use for their round drill diamond painting kits. We have some info about how to diamond paint at the top, your kit contents for you, and then if you flip it to the side, there's a QR code you can scan for 10% off code. And uh, if you happen to be brand new to Diamond Art Club, looking at making your first purchase, and if you'd like to save 20% off your first purchase, I have a discount code you're welcome to use. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Now, please don't feel obligated. That is an affiliate code because, because I am an affiliate of Diamond Art Clubs, but thank you so much in advance if you do choose to use it. But uh, if you don't want to use that one, you're going to see some others in this video. I strongly suggest taking advantage because because um, at this point, I don't think Diamond Art Club wants us to pay full price for these kits. So uh, let's take a look at what's been included. So in our toolkit here, this is one of the newer versions of the toolkits that you'll get with the new releases most often, most likely. And let's, oh, one more thing in there, I just wanna come out, there we go. So you're gonna get everything you need to do your diamond painting. A pen and squishy, the colors on those may vary. You're gonna get some wax, which comes in this caddy. I really actually really like Diamond Art Club's pink cart wax. Be sure to peel off that thin plastic film before you try to load up your pen. You're also gonna get some multi-placers here. If you, oops, let me get them for you. <laughs> if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time, you're going to get a seven and a four placer there. You're also going to get a tray that comes with, not a mistake, actually just a, a tray stopper you can pop in there to help stop the diamonds from sliding out when you're working with them. You're going to get a bag of baggies to store your leftover diamonds in or kit up in. And then you're gonna get this little guy is a cover minder. The style that you'll get will vary. There's magnets on the back and if you just slide the one off, slide it under the area of the canvas you're working on, set the canvas back down, peel back the plastic cover, set that part on top of the plastic cover, it'll hold it back for you and just look super cute and pretty. You're also gonna get a roll of washi tape. The print on these will vary. I like to use washi tape around the border of the drill field because sometimes there's a little bit of glue that goes past the edge and covering it with washi tape prevents dirt or dust from getting in there. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas and I have a whole video dedicated to that whole process and demoing it for you. So if you'd like to see me go into a little more detail, take a look at the description box. I'll have that video linked there. Diamond Art Club also includes this cute little sticker sheet. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like it has that it has the thumbnail and the title and everything. Some people will use this on the side of their boxes to help organize their stash, or I'm sure you could find something else crafty to do with it. Everything else is, be, is going to be included in this plastic branded dust cover. Let's take a look. Now Diamond Art Club keeps upgrading their canvases. This is so soft. It's so incredibly soft to the touch. <gasps> Look at her. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, she's just absolutely beautiful, you guys. 
I love it. I love it. And you can clearly make out the word cancer at the top. Let's help this lay a little bit more flat. So if you're noticing the edges of your canvas wanting to curl up a little bit, that is totally normal. That sometimes just happens with, with, how, it's, with how it's rolled up to ship. Not a big deal. You can just roll it back the opposite direction, which Diamond Art Club's canvases, it's totally safe to do that with. They use poured glue and have a really nice quality canvas material. And there we go. We're laying flat. Look at her. She's gorgeous, you guys. Now, since I'm not quite fitting her all in frame, take a look at the screen. I'll pop up a picture so you can see the whole canvas in frame. She's a beauty. And this is actually looking like this is going to be like it's colorful but maybe still pretty beginner friendly i think so um, let's take a look at what's been included we have our diamonds which we'll look at more closely in just a bit here you're going to get a thank you note a pamphlet that has a thank you note from the founder on the front and some helpful info inside what's included in your kit a beginner video i have one i'll link below as well a link to the vip facebook group which once you've made your first purchase i definitely recommend joining it's a wonderful resource and a fun spot to get some behind the scenes and early info from diamond art club step-by-step -step instructions written out for you some tips and tricks another discount code and then uh qr codes for the mobile app a really handy thing if you like to get push notifications and stay up to date with sales and stuff that way Diamond Art Club also includes a larger sticker sheet with some nice features. So you've got the title, the artist's name, a spot to write your start and end date, this gorgeous original artwork, lovely, and then info like the diamond shape, the size, and then a set of stickers over here. You guys, these are actually all pre-cut for you. So it makes the kitting up process, you know, where you take the diamonds and put them into storage containers or baggies, it makes that process go really quickly because, yeah, they're all pre-cut for you, as you can see. The color codes you see over here, these come from the DMC color code system from DMC branded floss from like cross stitch. Um, and Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150, which we're gonna have four of those, is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll show you those and we'll go over those in more detail here in just a bit, but we're gonna have 45 beautiful colors in this kit. Now let's just go on a little tour of the canvas so I can show you some of the features. Up here at the top, we've got their branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. I've never had any fraying on my Diamond Art Club canvases. The backing, like I mentioned, is super, super soft, and the material itself is, it's just a really luxurious material. It's both really malleable and sturdy. It holds diamonds really well. Diamond Art Club also uses poured glue on their canvases. It's pretty darn sticky <laughs> and uh, it's really plush to work on. It holds drills well, but it's also pretty forgiving. So if you need to adjust a diamond once you've put it down, it usually tolerates that pretty well. We have legends up here at the top left, as well as down here at the bottom right, as you can see. At the bottom left, you've got a thumbnail of the original artwork and then the title, the size, copyright Chrisabug and Diamond Art Club. So copyright, that means that Chrisabug has both given permission for the use of her artwork by Diamond Art Club as a diamond painting and is being fairly compensated for it as well. So there's a lot of art theft out there, unfortunately, with, with crafting things. And so I'm always going to support and shout out companies that are doing right by artists and legally licensing the artwork they're using. Here we've got info like links to their socials be sure that you follow them there to stay up to date with new releases and sales and whatnot here's another discount code and then info about their lifetime warranty so as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit you're covered under that lifetime warranty uh, that includes if you happen to run out of a diamond color or if you have trouble with the canvas or the glue they stand by their product and you can just contact their customer service and they will absolutely get you taken care of. And they're usually really quick to respond as well. So you can see the drill field printing is really clear. And you'll notice that um, we don't have what you sometimes see on the older canvases that are for, for canvases for round diamonds like this one. They used to have more of what we would call like guide circles, which is where they would print the symbols on like white circles. They'd be a little bit, I don't know, e maybe easier to see, but this is still really easy to see. So I don't know if I'd say easier. Um, it might've made it easier to center the diamonds, but at the same time, if you didn't place the diamonds exactly perfectly, sometimes that white circle, that white background would show around the outside of the diamond. 
So instead they've colored the background so it looks a little bit more like a square drill field. But if you look, there is still a faint circle outline there to help you place your diamonds. Oh my gosh, look at her sassy face. I love it. She's got attitude and I love it. Oh my gosh, is that like a crab earring? That's so fun if that's the case because she's a Cancer. Oh, and look, you've got the constellation going behind her. You guys, that's beautiful. I adore Krista Buck's artwork so much. Now, uh, this kit's gonna have a mix of confetti and color blocking. This is a really good example of color blocking here. So color blocking is when you have a lot of the same color in a small area. That'll tend to go a little bit faster because you'll have a lot of color, you'll, you'll be able to multi-place rather and have that tray in your color. Words are hard today, I'm sorry, you guys. You'll have that color in your tray for a little bit longer. Uh, by contrast, we do have some areas of confetti as well. Confetti is where you have more color changes in a small area, so you'll be mostly single placing and changing out the color in your tray a bit more often. However, confetti means you're gonna get a bit more detail, especially with Diamond Art Club's rendering style. I really like to have both in my canvases because um, confetti does keep it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. Let's do a quick measurement on this gal and see if we are true to size according to what Diamond Art Club has listed it as. We are at almost 76 centimeters and we're listed as 76. And I probably just didn't have it flat all the way to be honest with you. But that's just what I measured, so that's what I'll tell you. <laughs> and then we are at... Uh, about 50 and a half centimeters left to right and we're listed as 50.7 i'm going to call that true to size um i give companies a centimeter or so of what it, of wiggle room typically so i'm going to call it true to size <laughs> well, let's just enjoy her sassiness hanging out in the background and we'll take a look at these diamonds so you do have the name of the of the kit here on the pack of diamonds in case you do store these separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in it's easy to match them up later let's take a look where is that end, ladies? Now, that is a beautiful color spread. I love those colors. That's so stunning. So right off the bat, we've got some blues. Two bags of 322, two bags of 312, 550, 334, 154, 803. Couple bags of 803. Lots of shades of blue, you guys. When you have lots of variations of the same color, like these blues, that usually means you're gonna get some beautiful color shading. Speaking of blues, you guys, here's our first AB drill 101. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and just like the Northern Lights have a pretty shimmery color shift effect, so too does the coating on the tops of these diamonds. So the areas these have been charted are going to look even more sparkly. They're gonna be highlighted, draw your eye to those areas, maybe even kind of pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around them as well. So uh, that's the first of our ABs in this kit. Look at that hot pink. <laughs> some browns, purples, pinks. And then here's our second AB, 141, amazing white AB. And I will go through the canvas with you guys after we're done looking at the diamonds. We will take a look at where we're gonna find those different, those different AB colors so you can see where they're gonna go. And then we've got some more gorgeous like purples, magentas. <gasps> Ooh, you guys. I didn't see this when I was looking at the legend. Look at this, Z775, Z775. Couple of straggler drills in there, but you guys, Z is the, if you see that at the beginning of your color code, that means that you are looking at a fairy dust diamond. This is another kind of special diamond. It's one of Diamond Art Club's most recent new special drills. And I have to say, I think it's my favorite. It's subtle, and if you take a look, there is this glitter coating on the tops of these diamonds. It's very subtle. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love these shimmery diamonds so, 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 so much. I can't believe I completely overlooked that on the sticker sheet. It was at the bottom. It was away from the AB. So love those. Love, 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 love. There you can kind of see. Come on, camera. You see that there? All right. Definitely going to find out where those go as well. <laughs> okay. Back to our regularly scheduled diamonds here. That was a happy surprise. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Are those fairy dust? Are those fairy dust? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, we're in this last strand of just colors that we have a little handful of. 
including 111. There's another one of our AB diamonds. So vibrant and so striking. Love that color. More pinks and purples. I love it. Every shade of purple. <laughs> Ooh, and then we have a cherry red AB. Just the smallest amount. Is that gonna be in the earring? I think it's gonna be in the earring. What do you guys think? Do you think? Up there? I bet. I bet. I bet. And I didn't cheat. I swear I didn't cheat and look yet. Tiny handfuls of these pinks and purples. <laughs> all right, let's take a look, you guys. We're gonna start at the bottom and, and see if we can find all of these ABs or at least as many as possible. So we have that blue AB, we have the hot pink AB, we've got the red AB, a white AB, and then we have a fairy dust diamond. So we have a lot to find, you guys. So right off the bat, I see some hot pink ABs right here, as well as some hot pink ABs right up here. So that's kind of like the what's wrapping around her tail. And then lots of blue ABs doing some highlighting on her tail. It's kind of one of the middle blue colors you're seeing. There's some of the blue AB through here as well. White ABs, the white you're seeing here, the highlighting, it's gonna have like a shimmery effect. That's a white AB. And then we have our fairy dust drills, guys. There's a light blue right in here. That's a fairy dust diamond. <gasps> That's gonna be gorgeous. Ooh, I see some of the red AB right here, that cherry red AB. Some more of the pink AB right here. That fairy dust here, again, gonna be so, 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 so shimmery. Some of the blue AB here. It's like the, the highlighting on her scales. And there's actually some of the fairy dust AB is the lightest color here on her tail. Uh, blue AB over here fairy dust right here as well as blue ab right next to it the blue ab continues that light blue you're seeing here is all blue ab and then wrapped around her this kind of like what's the word i'm looking for that shimmery like transparent type type fabric that maybe like gossamer kind of fabric that's wrapped around her we have white ab's blue ab's and fairy dust that light blue fairy dust almost silvery fairy dust at the bottom of her of her top, that's a funny way to put that, we have some of that fairy dust color, some of the blue ABs as well, white ABs over here, white ABs right here. Shift this up a little bit. Ooh, so each of these little gems on her necklace, each of these charms is the red ABs, and we have some white ABs here and some fairy dust. So like almost all of this jewelry piece is ABs. That's gonna be stunning. Uh, as we get up into her hand, the white you're seeing, like all of the white in this kit is the white AB. There's not just like a plain white color diamond from what I'm seeing. Any of the white you're seeing, any of it in this whole top part is, an a is the white AB. That's gonna be so gorgeous underwater. I will say I was right. The red, the bright cherry red here is that cherry red AB. Um, there is the hot pink AB is doing some highlighting throughout her hair, as well as over here. There's this white outline around here, and then the white stars back here are white ABs. This is white AB. I'm just, I'm reminding you, because there's a lot of it. And then the, ooh, you guys, I keep overlooking that blue AB. So in the background, again, this medium blue color here and here, and then kind of outlining around her. That is all that bluish AB. And then we've got some of the blue AB doing these bubbles here and here and here. In this background, you guys see this sprinkling that's almost like the background of, of like, it almost looks like space, like little twinkles of stars, um, but just like individual ones. A lot of those are actually the fairy dust diamond. Some of them are the bluish gray AB. And then the word cancer is entirely fairy dust. That's gonna glimmer so beautifully. And then the constellation here, the white is a white AB. And then these lines here are a mix of, we have some of the blue AB, some of the fairy dust, and then just a non-special drill does a few of these of those as well. I love it. I love the special drill placement in this kit. That is stunning. I love it. Okay, are you guys stoked 
for a Zodiac series from the one and only Chrysabug. I adore Chrysabug's artwork. It's, 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 she's one of those artists that I almost always, if not always, buy her kits from Diamond Art Club because I just adore her artwork. And I think that the way that Diamond Art Club translates it, the way that they hand chart it, and the way that it looks as a diamond painting as a result is just perfect. I love it. I've completed a few from her in the past and have been so, 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 so incredibly happy with how they've turned out. But now it's just a no brainer for me. Like I just give me all the Chris bug. I love it so much and I'm here for it. So uh, just to give you a really quick recap, the name on this piece is Zodiac Cancer and it along with the other new releases are coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 25th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget if you're in the diamond or ruby tier of the rewards program you'll get a half an hour early access window so be sure to set your alarms especially if you know that you really do want this one or, or any of the other new releases because we don't know ahead of time which kits are going to be limited edition any kits that are listed as limited edition it means that once they sell out they will not be restocked there have been a couple of rare exceptions but they are very rare so i definitely recommend that you jump on any that you know that you're going to want um because otherwise once they sell out they're gone and that would be a bummer so set those alarms best of luck to you with snagging whatever kits are on your wish list for this weekend and i hope that this video helped you decide since you got to take a closer look at this canvas with me she's stunning and even if you're not a cancer i feel like this is still going to be a gorgeous gorgeous kit to work on and the special drill placement is definitely one of my favorite things about it i think it's going to be so stunning so Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And thanks again to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. If you guys want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, including future unboxings and reviews of completed kits and tutorials and stuff, stuff like that, feel free to hit the subscribe button down here and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. Uh, leave any questions, comments, happy thoughts down in the, in the comment section below. And have an amazing weekend, you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.